uh, and I believe that we have to to go on with our life because if we don't, we will stay feeling unsafe, feeling afraid, feeling sad, and this is not the meaning of life. We should go on and feel uh, happy and try to deal with everything and try to make Gaza a better place. We think about our children are the best investment, you know, that's the only thing we own, that's the only thing we have, and we try our best uh, uh, to help them. It's not easy. But uh, we have too many successful stories. I mean, when you when you speak to a girl like Malak, who is shown on 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 the video clip, and she says to you that she wants her dream is to become an engineer because she wants to be, rebuild her not only her family's house but also the houses of her no neighbors that have been destroyed, and she wants to help people and make them feel safe. I mean, that's just you know striking with all that she's survived, and then you have. Saja, who last week in the Taujihi, the national um, kind of high school results, got 99.6%, and she's from Rafa, uh, and that's across all of Palestine. I mean, these are incredible, there's incredible talent and resilience and, uh, and um, uh, perseverance here, and it really just needs more fostering and to be unleashed. In, in, in really, Gazan children could, could do anything.